Hey everyone, if you've been using Bluestacks to run Android apps, it's time to stop. Now hang tight, because Google has just dropped their first official Android emulator for Windows. And guess what? It's running stock Android 14. When it comes to emulators, optimization is everything. Unfortunately, Bluestacks has been struggling, eating your RAM like there's no tomorrow and leaving you with annoying lags that you might reconsider your life choices. But here's the best part. This new emulator is from the same brand we trust. In this video, we're going to dive into just how well Google's new emulator is optimized and why it might be the right time to make the switch. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Before we continue, I think everybody knows about Google Play Games for PC. It's a Play Store made for Windows, so you can play Android games officially without the need for an emulator. But there's a catch. It's only meant for games, and you won't find any apps. Now we have this Google Play Games emulator. As mentioned, it's primarily meant for developers, but the good news is that everyone can use it. And trust me, it's way better than Play Games. The addition of Word Emulator comes at a price because it can do a lot more than just games. You can install custom APK files and tweak settings like refresh rate, aspect ratio, and much more. You can grab the stable edition right here, or you can click other downloads for its beta version. It's up to you. The setup is only a couple of MBs. Once downloaded, double-click and install the setup. It's pretty quick and straightforward. After installation, you'll see an interface that might look pretty empty at first, but if you swipe up, you'll find a few essential apps like Settings, Play Store, and Play Games. Nothing too fancy. Now let me show you what Android version it's running. Since this is an official Google-made emulator, you can see it's running Android 14. In comparison, Bluestacks only provides Android 11. It's like upgrading from a bicycle with training wheels to a shiny sports car. So you can imagine what to expect from Google. However, there is something to note. This emulator doesn't have the navigation bar you might be used to. Instead, you'll need to remember a few key combinations. Control B to go back and Control H to go home. This emulator has a built-in Play Store, which is pretty cool. Here you'll find fully compatible apps, meaning there's a much lower chance of running into blue screens. The catch is you'll only find games. But guess what? You can install any app of your choice. The only way to install custom apps is by using a sideloader. If you open your Microsoft Store, you'll find many WSA sideloaders. However, you specifically need one called AOW Tools. It might say trial version, but don't worry. It's free, as clearly stated in the description. Just click free trial and you're good to go. Once AOW Tools is installed and opened, you'll see an interface like this. But before we start installing anything, there's a setting we need to configure. If you go to the device section, you may not see any listed devices. I have changed the settings already, but you'll need to fix it. Go to the help menu and copy the provided code. Next, search for command prompt on your Windows, then right-click and run it as administrator. Once opened, paste the code you copied earlier, and it should say OK. Now, you're all set. If you go back to the side loader, you need to look for a device that says online. Once the device is selected, you'll see all the info of your emulator. At this point, all you need is an APK file. I've downloaded a couple to show you. Just drag and drop the APK into the side loader and it will automatically start the installation. Once it's done, open the emulator and you'll see the app is already installed and is ready to use. You need to keep in mind that the side loader isn't for everyone. However, for now, it's the only tool you can use to install apps. Otherwise, you need to rely on the games available in the Play Store. Now we will test the games and see how much juice we can get. First up, we're testing Asphalt Unite. The gameplay looks fantastic. We've smooth graphics and overall it's running really well. Now, let's take a look at how it's handling CPU and memory consumption. I know Asphalt Unite isn't the heaviest and most demanding, but you can see it's only using 4-6% to of CPU and around 1 GB of RAM. That's impressively low for an emulator with such capabilities. Guys, unfortunately, we can't play Free Fire. I don't know why am I getting this error. 
However, I think that online games might not work through the sideloader method. They need you to install games through their Play Store so they can link them to your Google account. That's the reason, I guess. Otherwise, you are free to install any app, except the ones which need your Google account. There aren't a ton of settings in this emulator, but if you click on the hidden icons in the system tray and right-click on the emulator, you'll find some graphics settings. Here you can boost your frame rate up to 144 Hz and switch your graphics output to your internal GPU. In the developer options, you'll find settings for different aspect ratios and mouse input modes, and that's pretty much it for customization. If you run into any issues or need help with something, feel free to leave a comment, I'm here to help. Also thanks for sticking around until the end. Guys, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.